Hi there, welcome back to Tarabella Distillery. Our rum cast finish bottle, Tarabella Actra. Today's topic is, well, let's just say, Chayashal's all-time favorite, Sherry Cask. So let's take it apart. We're not here to tell you the luck, we tell it, we're here to tell you the facts. Until 1986, the port and sherry industry will ship their wine to England in barrels, to be more precise. Their sherry wine, in what became known as sherry casks, was a cheaper wood, it was built easily from local wood in Spain. They poured the wine in, they shipped it to England, and said, go keep the cask, we don't want it. Obviously, distilleries would buy them up for a very discounted price, fill it with whiskey, and age it. Things were not as today, I want to say commercialized, or, you know, just standardized. You just took what you got. Um, so, that was until 1986 when the law changed and said that you have to uh, fill your bottles all in Spain. That led to a, an issue in the industry because people were buying bourbon, I'm sorry, scotch, whiskeys, and they expected certain flavors and certain notes. So there were two solutions to the problem. One was to put in cherry wine, pump it in, and it would go into the wood, and then, you know, and that gave it, because it was pumped, it was this very thick syrup that was pushed in, it kind of gave it a flavor. However, that was not very successful. That was not very popular. So it led to another idea, that another practice that's done today. It's called barrel conditioning or seasoning. You, pour, you put wine into the barrel for two to three years. Sherry wine, the legal minimum is wine that's already two years old. You put two years old wine in sherry wine, what's called sherry wine, into the barrel. You let it sit there for 18 to 24 months. Then you empty that wine. Interestingly enough, the wine that comes out is generally not drinkable, it's distilled um, to make wine brandy or turn to vinegar. Now, to make it a little more complex, which type of wood are they using? Well, until 1986, they used local wood, which was Spanish oak. However, those trees, those forests have become preserves or national parks, and you're not allowed to cut down wood. So they're now using American oak barrels. So you have a little difference in flavor. However, there are a few distilleries that still have rights to those forests, such as McAllen um, and a few other ones. It's called the Galician Forest. Not in Galicia, North Galicia is actually an area in Spain. And theirs will give you, and obviously different ones give different flavors. Um, most of the other distilleries are using American oak and not Spanish oak. Or even you could use also European oak, but it's not as prevalent. A lot of times we will say that in the bottle. However, a third option is called sloshing. When you get a fresh barrel at your distillery, you pour in wine bottles, you shake the barrel until it's in the walls, and then you fill it up with whiskey, leaving some wine in. So those are the generally the three accepted or three ways done. One is you pour in some type of syrup, you put in a lot of pressure and put it into the, into the wood. Number two is conditioning or seasoning the barrel for sherry wine. It is not the wine that's called sherry that you buy in the store. 1,000% has no relationship. It tastes terrible. It's cheap stuff. Yes, you have all these romanticized stories and pictures and videos, but don't confuse the two. Those are called sherry wineries. Um, these are barrels specifically used for whiskey. And again, they are very often even of a different wood. And the third way is sloshing. Now there's another type of barrel. It's called the Solera ba barrel. That barrel is what's used to age in the wineries for years in Spain. They're not often used in distilleries because in the Solera system, the older the barrel, more valuable it is to the winery to hold on to. On occasion, you'll have an artisanal distillery buy one and finish in it. Now that's going to clearly say that on the bottle. Um, of course, if you have any questions, just WhatsApp me, 551-238-7791. Um, email me, ben at com, And of course, follow me on LinkedIn, WhatsApp, uh, Instagram, YouTube. And you could ask all your questions that way. Looking forward. And don't forget, purchase your bottle of Tarabella today. We're being featured in a big magazine. And I guess by the time... 
you get to it, if you don't know where today, we might just very well be sold out.